everybody welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome today is going to be a great makeover wait till you see this dresser and what i did to it did with it i am so excited for you to see it so let's get started and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like and comment on this video and if you're into more furniture makeovers check out all of my other videos because there are a lot and they are so much fun to see what happens to all of these pieces that I give makeovers to. So let's get started. Here is this dresser. It actually came with a set and I had gotten the entire set for free. So I'm really excited to share with you what I did with this piece. It has three drawers inside as you just saw, and I wasn't sure about keeping the hardware, but you'll see at the very end if I did or not. This is a Drexel brand, as you saw the stamp in there, it was a little faded, and it has solid wood drawers and top. And overall, this piece is really beautiful and in great condition, but just needs an update. I knew that the salt, the wood on the top was solid in parts, and I really wanted to sand the top to have raw wood, but as I was sanding, I did notice that there is a wood veneer on top of more wood, but then in the middle, it was MDF, which I found very odd, but it is MDF in the middle underneath and it is solid wood all the way around, so there's trim underneath. But I kept sanding and made sure that I only sanded the, the top layer. So I had started with 60 grit sanding disc, and as you can see here, so you can see the different wood grains and the different layers and you can see the MDF in the middle there, and that's what I was talking about. The edges were all wood except the middle. So what I did is I got some wood filler and just used, put a glove on and just used my fingers to rub the wood filler into that area so that it looked more natural. Once that was done, I took off the hardware and just put it aside in case I was going to keep them. I then scuff sanded with a 220 sanding block and paper wrapped around the block on all of the drawers and the entire piece. I had also wrapped up the drawers with some tape and painter's plastic tape and also did the top as well. So once that was all done, I then went over the whole piece with my furniture prep and clean spray from Cottage Paint, which is in my description, and then rinsed it all off and then got my primer ready. So I did about two coats of the primer, which is the Kills Restoration Primer. It's amazing for bleed through and I use it every single time.
for this piece I did not I did well I decided to paint the inside and so I did the doors and I put some painters plastic tape up where like in front of where the three drawers were and then it kept blowing into the paint so I decided just to take it off and be very careful when spraying the trim and it was pretty good I didn't get any spray completely in the inside I decided to keep the original hardware and so I sprayed it with bronze rust-oleum spray and then I thought a really good idea to sort of also help cover up that little bit of wood filler area which turned out pretty well I decided to do a peel and stick stencil on top in champagne bronze chalk paste these peel and stick stencils are so much fun to use and there's so many designs I, I just love them and it was perfect for this wood top I also did that on the three drawers in the inside of the cupboard there. Then it was time to seal the entire piece, so I used a satin varnish in my sprayer. I did about three coats of this top coat. I added the hardware back onto the dresser and that's what it looked like before and this is what it looks like now. It turned out really beautiful. I distressed the edges just a little as you can see there. Just bringing out a little bit of the original wood. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you liked this piece and how it turned out. I think it turned out amazing. Please subscribe to my channel and like and comment and let me know what you think in the comments. And I will see you next week with a new furniture makeover. Take care.